Here I am standing inside the print layout in QGIS. The print layout is where you put together your final maps with titles and scale bars and north arrows and those kinds of things. You can set the page to whatever you want, any size, any dimensions. You've got all the tools you need to change everything. I've got my toolbar for that positioned on the left of the screen vertically here, but you can put it anywhere you like. And once you add something to the print layout, anything you add is referred to as an item. And what you'll see is, you'll see an item properties tab on the right hand side of the screen. If for any reason you don't see that tab, you can go to the view menu and then panels and turn it back on. Key thing about this is if you want to select something and change its properties, you just do it on the right hand side in item properties. To select an individual item, you just need to make sure that you're using the little cursor pointer. That's gonna select an item, and then you can change its properties. To move the map inside the map frame, it's this tool. So if you want to pan around the map inside your map frame, you can do that. The other key thing is any item you add is gonna be listed as an individual item here. So it's like layers and you can untick these and turn them off. If you want to lock one in place so it can't be moved around, you can tick the little lock box. So you can turn these off or on, and then when you're ready to export them, you can just go to any of the three buttons. So the first button here that I'm pointing to do, that's gonna export to PDF. The next one will export to SVG and this will export to any image format you like, so PNG or JPEG or whatever. So that's the print layout in QGIS. Very powerful, takes a little bit of getting used to if you're not used to it, but just remember anything you add is an item and you can change the item properties on the right once it's selected.